Saturday morning and we've got baboons. I've decided to come for a walk. And I've just started going up this piece of street and I see we've got baboons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're going to see them on the other side of this fence here. Bah! 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 I'm trying to take a photo here, but... A bit tricky. Sorry if the camera is shaking, because I'm... Taking a photo or two with the DSL Aurea. Ba, ba, ba. Better chance of posing if I try and talk to them here. Ba, 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 ba. Come on, baboons. Ba. Heap of them. One came under here just now. Anyway, sorry about all that shaking. Obviously my walk up to here was worth it. <coughs> I'm as sick as sick as a dog with bronchitis. I cannot possibly just stay at home and do nothing. <coughs> so I'm just going for a short walk in the stream. Lo and behold, as I start going up, I see my entire troop of baboons. We might see them now now because the other side, yeah, when we go up, we're going that way. So I've just chased, well, unintentionally chased them up a bit, yeah. And they may cross the railway line just now. Let's see just now. The boons should be just other side this bush here, not far from here. And they can travel. They can travel through bush and trees. I wish I was, I really, really wish I was like a baboon with the ability to up and down six eight ten foot walls get onto the top of a tree in no time with no effort stunning views uh, we'll see maybe they'll go to the stream we'll have a look now now Man, I love this little stream. Always water in it, always. Wet season, dry season. Several reasons. Closest one to home. 10 minutes walk from home. Always water in it. And probably also that nobody walks where I walk here. I have yet in more than 20 years to see anybody walk where I walk here. I have to say walking in water here it's not doing my feet, it's not doing my cold any good. So I'm gonna try and stay out of the water. Level is low. basically come for photos but may as well make a little video again why not wearing sloppies that I got as a present from Adele which I much appreciate 
totally waterproof, of course. Uh, let's go through, let's go round this side for a change. I'm so used to going through the bush on the right hand side of the stream. Let's go through it here. Yep. This group that I used to belong to some people in this hiking group that I used to belong to. Some people in it can go to hell in a fucking hand basket. People that stab you in the back. Looking forward to tomorrow's walk. We, if things go well, I'll be showing somebody the old one of the other dams that she hasn't seen before. So that's going to be fun. That should be tomorrow. Look at the sunny ferns. If it's shaking, it's because I'm busy with my DSLR again yet. I'm not making any fancy settings on the photos. No shutter speed, stuff like that. So far it's just the way it is. No fancy elements to the water. Someone's been here. Someone's been here. And walked along this uh, pipe obviously. Because this here wasn't here last time. And this does not look like something piece of driftwood. Beautiful piece of driftwood. <laughs> it wasn't lying on top and this doesn't fall from the tree at the top there. Nice piece of driftwood. should take that home with me. We can make a beautiful bonsai pot or something out of it. Which side do you want me to go? Come on, tell me. Left or the right side? Let's go on the right side and then over to the left. That's the way we know it. No snakes. Been ages and ages since I've seen a mountain adder. Used to see them regularly. Do you hear that? That's the power van coming past on quite far. The railway line's quite far from here. And you can hear it clearly. <laughs> I 
Now how on earth does a plastic bottle end up all the way down here? That normally would have to happen with floods. I must come with my backpack one day and uh, just throw one or two things I see into it. Try and keep this clean. This very peculiar part I can slip with. I don't want my DSLR to slip off my shoulder here. Please don't slip off. DSLR That could maybe make a photo Cross between shade and sun What a beautiful stream with rocks and leaves In the forest we go where the water can flow Please don't slip here <coughs> Yeah, I told you I've got a cold What on earth is that there? It's like a piece of clothing or a tent or something. Like I said, that's, that stuff can only come all the way down here if there's been some flooding. And this is somebody close here, which I strongly doubt. And we've got some non-rocks and water reflections. Let me stand. Yeah. Someone else has been walking here. I'm pretty convinced of it. Which may be a bit concerning to me. Yeah, someone has been here. This only happens if a human being has been here. Who the fuck's, who's been walking here? I'm not saying nobody's entitled to walk here. But it is of interest to me because I've never seen anybody here. Now, how can one not wonder if those little rocks are stacked like that? Whether whoever it is that did that may be the person who threw a plastic, two litre plastic bottle. Here we have it again. Someone's discovered this here. Wonder whether it could be Mark who lives in the mountain. I doubt that. I think he's got better things to do than stacking up little rocks, little stones. <coughs> Yeah, 
Ja. Clearly someone's been here. Putty putty. Well, it had to come. It had to come that somebody would walk along here and finally discover it. After 24, 25 years that I've been around. Let's not forget the days where there weren't even any cyclists in the mountain, let alone hikers. There was hardly any hiker on a trail, what is now a popular trail, above my suburb. That trail's been there since the day we moved to George, 24, 25 years ago. I mean, that time, more than 10, ach, more than uh, two decades ago, there was nobody walking on the trail, ever. I had that whole place to myself. Now you've got trail runners, cyclists, walkers, hikers. It's uh, opened up more and become more popular. Yeah, one can start thinking about another place that people wouldn't know about, perhaps. Hopefully the person or people that walk here have a similar mentality and don't plan on telling every Tom, Dick and Harry about this. So I do not want plastic and tins and shit thrown along this stream here, please. No, thank you very much. Somebody's gone and stacked these stones here too, buggering around with natural causes. Stop, Stop buggering around. Just leave nature as it is, please. Maybe a photo of the tree on the right hand side with a stream on the left. Let's see how it comes out. Tempted to. I wish I had the money to get one of those uh, bush cameras. Set it up, yeah, those bush motion cameras. They don't have a lot of pixels normally, but certainly enough to tell you what's coming past. I would set it up here yeah, and see, get a, a rough idea what the personal people look like. I can bet your bottom dollar they wouldn't have a clue where I've put it or that somebody else is even here to put it up. Ooh, look at that. Look at the glorious reflecting sun on our stream here. We shall see, no guarantees that they're going to come out. The thing is that this is round about the area where I was planning. Where I've always thought I'd come and set my tent up for the night maybe. And lo and behold, the privacy might not be there. I've always felt like there's a gar there would be guaranteed privacy. More little stones stacked there. T 
take your stones, your unnatural assemblies and there as well stop fucking around with nature Put up a sign yeah, if it's necessary. I've done that at a, another part of the mountain before where somebody had started setting up a tatty camp, a dirty person clearly. All kinds of crap lying around it. I broke down, broke down his assembly there. Put a sign up there saying, get the fuck out of here or the neighborhood watch will come and drag you out. And uh, went back a few days later. No assembly of it again. So obviously he got the message and knew there are people that are perfectly aware of him. So anyway, goodbye stream. Hello, whoever the newcomer is who has decided to walk here. Grass has been cut here. So it could also be some people who were working here in the area who maybe took a walk there during their off time. So, there, turn right, then into forest. We've just come from there, and we're going here. Man, I'm lucky, I really, I really feel lucky to have this less than 10 meters, 10 minutes walk from home and you're at the start of this basically from home and not 10 minutes drive from home 10 minutes walk from home and you're at the start of this other people would give their eye teeth just to be a 10 minutes drive even it's so close it's going to take you longer to open the garage, get in your vehicle and drive to the start than it is to close the gate behind you and walk to the start from him. Lucky. Take full advantage of it as much as I can. Anyway, this might be the last clip. Or if there are baboons close up. I'll see if I can record them. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. If anybody's watched this, thanks for watching, including Mr. Stevenson, if you've been following all the videos. And uh, keep watching. Check out any other new videos coming. Maybe something more interesting would sit different tomorrow. And I would love to go for a walk on uh, from Wilderness to Victoria Bay, which is on a railway line. Immensely popular. Always been uh, known as dangerous. Not really anymore, to my knowledge, because there've been people taking armed people taking groups for a walk there. So any people that maybe used to try and attack any hikers there will think twice these days. But sorry, I'm not paying anybody a cent to look after me, thank you very much. I'll rather take my risks and go by myself. Uh, or preferably with company. But I think there are no risks these days compared to the past. The reputation uh, is just too much traffic 
for any uh, attacker to consider trying anything without being, uh, let's just say, overloaded by the amount of other hikers, being back attacked by the amount of other hikers that would be there as well. So yeah, it's free. There's no, nobody has to pay. It's just some people seem to be extremely cautious and prefer to pay a ridiculous amount of money to walk with an armed group, with armed people. Nah, that's ridiculous, man. I've done it four, five times now. And I'm going to do it again. Anyway, let me stop harping about it. The reason I am is because it's stunning. It's awesome. All along the coast, between Victoria Bay and Wilderness, or vice versa, and back if you like. And you've got sea and tunnels, railway tunnels, etc, etc, cliffs, everything you want on that trail. I'd like to go and do it ASAP. Stay tuned!